Hi, I'm Bullet Soul from Bullet Soul the Cop. We're not gonna show you tonight a little tutorial about crossover. Um, well, I already um, told you about uh, crossover uh, on the blog. And um, yeah, I'm, it's time to make a, a video tutorial about uh, what crossover is. I did already a video about cross ties, which I create all the time uh, to, uh, uh, to install games into uh, crossover. Um, and make it you guys as easy as possible. Uh, for free games I even uh, create ties which automatically download and install the games into crossover. And uh, tonight I'm gonna show you a video about crossover itself without the functions. And um, first we're gonna look at crossover. Crossover is uh, if correctly if you uh, uh, got it from uh, crossover itself uh, I can go to uh, about crossover, and then uh, you can uh, why you can get it. You can get sign up here. Uh, so download the free trial. We'll buy crossover. Uh, read everything about crossover. About uh, you can read about here. It's the the background. Um, well, let's go to crossover itself. If you uh, download the trial uh, or bought it, then uh, uh, download the file and then you can uh, move it to your uh, program files. So it will be the same like this. Uh, programs and uh, crossover will be here. Um, you can launch it by double click, of course. You know, it's every app. But then, if it is launched, then um, you have some options. I will first start with the icon itself. If you right click the icon, it, it has a, a kind of quick menu. In the quick menu, you have all kind of things like stop, like stop the crossover, hide it, um, uh, reveal and finder, uh, run command. Run command you can also find in, uh, in the top bar uh, options, but I will come to that in a few moments. And with the run command option, you can, um, well, what it already says, run a specific uh, EXA file or whatever. For the rest, this is just a game menu. Like if you have, uh, um, well, from Microids, you have uh, installed uh, Siberia, for example, you can launch Siberia from here, or run Siberia 2, or any program you have installed into Crossover. So this is a kind of quick menu, so it's very handy to uh, quick launch uh, a program. However, um, this is the, the options in the right click. Now, if you select crossover, you will see in the top bar, you see all kind of options. You have crossover itself with this, uh, to check updates uh, or to go to preferences. Um, which uh, here in, uh, in this case, if you have um, well removable, removable uh, full volumes, um, ask for confirmation before launching. It can even ignore CDs and DVDs insertions. So if you put a CD in a drive, it will uh, launch the uh, CD or ask at least to launch the CD from crossover. Um, here, also open Windows CDs DVD with crossover. You can also put that option, so automatically. An installer, assistant. Well, here it already says everything about it, so he can find all that kind of stuff. Check updates, select this stuff. All right, this is about crossover. File. Well, this is uh, open recent files or open uh, with uh, with Apple O. Edit you don't use anymore. This is very important. I will come to that later. And this is about the most important. Window, well, this is not really important here. So the most important things are those two thingies. Um, from the programs, it's the same thing as uh, as right clicking here. And I'm going to uh, going to show you uh, what you can do with, for example, a run a command. Click on run a command. So here you can choose the bottles, and I will come to that, which, what bottles are, are 
are the uh, managed bottles are all the um, kind of wrappers in wineskin language uh, which you have installed into uh, in crossover and which is own applications and I will come to that a little bit later so you can choose here with the run command which bottle to start which you created and then which command to run click on browse for an example uh, in that specific bottle you want to launch specific um, Excel file, you can run it from there. Like uh, this one, I click on open and it will set the link, and then you can run it or even save command to program menu. This will create an, um, an executable in the program menu which isn't there yet. This is very handy if you have a program in a bottle or uh, uh, which you want to launch but you have to launch it every time using this command there's no shortcut for it then you can create a shortcut this way so select the file then and then click on save command to program menu and it will create a shortcut so if I do this then normally oh, you see here it will create a shortcut so if I double click it now it will launch the game so it's very handy. All right, this is about um, the menu of programs. So here you can launch programs, launch games. For example, I'll launch a quick uh, Superior. I hope this is still in the, yeah. To make a screenshot, I created an, uh, oh, bad example. This is an example to launch the game. Um, but, but we have more. Um, then we come to configuring. Uh, if you go to configure, um, here you can do all kind of stuff like install software. If you want to install software, it will create uh, it will come with a nice crossover installer, and it will first update the latest version and check if there are new things like if there are some some new um, cross styles created so you can search on specific uh, uh, well, games or programs like uh, Siberia in my case uh, which I created and you see here Siberia 1 and 2 which work awesome you saw a crash, uh, a crash for uh, Siberia but that's because I uh, created a, a or a little desktop as you saw a moment ago um, all right uh, what do we have more okay so for example so you can use this to install uh, the specific cross tie or you can create another program so if you have your own installer you can click on uh, uh, other program that's very important and then you can choose an installer like for example you want to install a game or or whatever you can select it uh, in your downloads or wherever you have the start executable like for example you say hey I want to install uh, download uh, Jack the lines well you can select the file and they go to the next step and that's on which bottle you want to use new Windows SP bottle 2098 for old games but most common is the Windows XP bottle so you can select a new Windows XP bottle if you want to install that and then you click uh, on uh, install and that's it and it will install the specific game or program whatever you want so it will first create uh, a bottle well here it's in Dutch and then um, the the installable start. Well, for this case, it is a uh, Gamesgate installer, and then you can create uh, your uh, oh, put 
put in your account stuff for Gamesgate stuff and then it will download the file. I won't do that right now. So then just imagine it's finished. It will create the shortcuts here in the program menu and then uh, you can uh, play the game. And as you can see here, um, it will create also an, um, a, a bottle. So here it will create automatically the download alliance alliance to the exo file and that will happen when you don't name the bottle so if you have an already a bottle created you want to install a specific game into um, a bottle you can um, click on applications that's uh, this tabby and you click on install software and you will the same thing will happen here but second managing bottles you click on managing bottles you get this and um, this is the main thing where it's all about these are the bottles all created if you want to create a new one you click on a plus button and you can create a new bottle can choose which version of, uh, of Windows most common is Windows XP so or name it like uh, Paul whatever the game name and it will be created and in this bottle you can install all your stuff so I can here's my bottle and the main the main things are already inside all crossover uh, uh, tweaks and whatever which uh, they uh, find useful to have in the default bottle and then you can install software into it like install software and you can install uh, uh, all stuff you want uh, stuff which is already in a database or or stuff you want to uh, to use yourself um, it's all well free to do so, um, this is about uh, installation, installing software. You can also remove software. So if you click on repair or remove, you can have the same thing in Windows and then you can remove software. Um, then, the first, the first tab. The first tab here is used to, uh, this is the main feature you want to use if you, if you want to use the first tab. And that's the open C drive. This is especially important if you download a game and it's all only in a in, um, game folder. For example, like uh, Derelict or... Um, um, well, there are a lot of games, which uh, free games especially, which if you download it, it will be have only a game folder. Then you can click on the open C drive and it will open the C drive of the specific bottle and then you can uh, move the specific, uh, uh, like for example, folder into it, and then uh, uh, you can use the run command to launch the specific uh, exa file and create a shortcut to the menu, what I just showed you a moment ago. So this is about the C drive. Or if you want to uh, uh, to put something into uh, the game folder, you can. Uh, use the open C drive applications well I already showed you the most important one is the install software control panel control panel is the same as in wineskin with um, the wine CFG it's the same thing if you click on line selected item you will see here the 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 wine configuration and you can create here all kind of overrides or changes something in uh, in the uh, window manager uh, this is very important to know is that x11 needs to be uh, activated to uh, use this because otherwise the Mac driver which is default will take over uh, and uh, will ignore this one so um, this you can choose in advanced but I will come to that in a few moments so you, you can in, in internet stuff you can also configure here 
uh, simulate things. It's not really important here. The most important one is here, configure uh, the wine CFG. Okay, and then we come to the last tab, and that's the uh, use legacy X window system. And this means that you want to use uh, X11 above the Mac driver. In some cases, it's better. Uh, like for example, uh, Worms Armageddon, otherwise it won't even launch. Uh, another one is, for example, um, Worms Mayhem. Um, uh, Worms Mayhem is uh, because otherwise it will freeze, the screen will freeze uh, once in a while. And well, we want to have a stable game, so uh, then in that case, the, the Legacy X window system or X11 um, is better. So mainly this shouldn't be touched, uh, as only when you experience problems with the, with the screen, with the window. Uh, if you have mouse pointer issues, you can also try to uh, use the legacy X window system uh, instead of the driver. However, in the future, the Mac driver should be uh, completely ready and that it will uh, replace everything from X11. This one is disable performance uh, and change graphics. It's This is only a register key, so you can manage manually create one or, uh, um, or disable one um, yourself, but this is a simple option which do it for you. So uh, normally this one shouldn't be checked, but if you experience some graphical glitches, like for example, I experienced a mount, uh, mountain blade warband and mountain blade, then you can disable it. So you can always try that. So um, this is the main function: make archives not important. Using native Mac browser for default not important. Publishing also not important. Uh, so those two things are the most important things. So um, I hope I showed you a little bit about how to create a uh, bottle. How, uh, how you can install a game into a bottle, um, how to use the program menu, how to run a command, uh, run command. It's just uh, like, uh, for example, so I'll take the register, re edit, you can open it using this, and you click on run, and it will, uh, will open re register edit. It's simple and, and, and executable, so just to, to show you again. Um, you know about uh, how to uh, come the preferences, how to check that. Um, yep, how to browse C, so you can open the C drive of every bottle and move files there and uh, set start executables. So this is the main usage about crossover. It's not more, not less. It's uh, just just finding out just try it and, and and play with it and it will become um, quite easy for you to use it's just you have to uh, use it in order to learn uh, how to use it so um, thank you for watching hope to see you back on poll.com if you love the work you do you can always donate to my website become a premium member and support my hard work and yeah spread the word and see you back on poll.com bye bye Thank you